Hello everyone, it's Dan with Switcher Studio, and I wanted to give you all a quick tutorial on how to use Periscope Producer with your Switcher account. Um, this will be great because you're no longer tied to a computer when you're recording or broadcasting, so you can actually get out on the road and use your Periscope and use Switcher so you can add those other angles or graphics, all that good stuff. Um, we will need a computer for the initial setup that I'll get to later, but once you have that set up the first time, you're not going to need a computer again. So first, let's set up what you need in the Periscope app. So we're going to go ahead and launch Periscope here, and we need to get to the settings. So to do that in the bottom there, where you kind of see this, what's the people in the bottom right, go ahead and tap that. And now up in the upper right, you'll see the silhouette of like one person there. Go ahead and tap there. And now if we scroll down, we'll get to our settings, choose that. And right there under advanced sources is Periscope producer. So go ahead and tap that. And where it says source connected info, that stream URL and stream name slash stream key, those are the things we need. Now you could just leave this open and type those values in one by one manually. Um, but that's kind of, you might make a mistake or something. So what I recommend doing is go ahead and just tapping the copy button there and pasting those into an email to yourself. So you can just copy from that email and paste in where you need to in your switcher account. So we're going to take a quick break here so I can switch over to my computer and we'll continue with this tutorial. Okay, now that we have those RTMP values that we sent to ourselves. We're going to go ahead and enter those into our Switcher Studio account. So what you're going to do is go to switcherstudio.com and from here we see login. We're going to tap that. Login and now we can add a new channel here right from this channel settings. So I'm going to go over to add new channel and we can name it whatever we want. We'll name it Periscope producer, and now we can copy and paste. So the first thing you have there that where it says RTMP, that's going to be your server URL. So go ahead and paste that right there. And then the stream key ID is the other one. So go ahead and give that a copy. And now from here you can do a manual configuration to set up your settings exactly how you want for your video or we have a built-in speed test that I recommend. So you can just tap that. It's going to test the internet for you and make sure it gets the best values for the internet you're on. So we'll let that finish. Tap save. And there you go. Now that we have our channel saved, we can open up Switcher Studio on our iPad or other iOS device and we can get, get rolling using Switcher with Periscope Producer. So let's uh, switch over to the Switcher Studio interface now. All right, now that we have our settings all saved on the Switcher account from the computer, we can go ahead and launch Switcher Studio on our iOS device. So I'm using an iPad here. Go ahead and launch it and then choose Use a Switcher. This, of course, is going to bring up the Switcher Studio interface. Now from here, that um, the Periscope producer is going to be under the custom RTMP under this broadcasting here is where you have all your channel saves, so you have the YouTube and Facebook I have already connected, but uh, Periscope Producer is going to be under the custom RTMP, so if I tap on that and hit that blue arrow over there, and I scroll down, that Periscope Producer that we set up is going to show up for us, so I want to make sure the blue check mark is right next to it. Go back to where it says custom RTMP, Periscope Producer, make sure that blue check mark's there, now we need to, you know, set up with whatever we need to, we can of course have our cameras, camera sources in and all that good stuff there. Once you have your production all set up, you're going to hit record and broadcast. Now you won't be live yet. We still have to go back to Periscope to, to finish that. So let's go ahead and tap record and broadcast just to queue up. And now we're going to get over to Periscope again to show you how to go live. All right. So now that we've tapped record and broadcast and switcher, we're going to go back to the Periscope here. And right where it says checking for source, that is what we are going to wait for this to connect to. So just give it a second or two, and it should show up. Oh, there you go. So just tap on it there. We can hit preview broadcast, and that's going to bring it up. So there's our graphic that we had right in there. So I can just call this test. 
and I can go ahead and tap go live. And just like that, now we are live on Periscope using Switcher Studio. So from my iPad here, let's go ahead and switch over. So there I am. We can, of course, do that. We can do a picture in picture, all that good fun stuff. So this is all using Switcher Studio and Periscope producers. This makes you really be able to do some cool broadcast, do more than just being stuck with the one camera angle. So yeah, for more, you can check out switcherstudio.com or if you have any questions, you can email us at support at switcherstudio. Thanks for tuning in, guys.